Hi everyone, this is Kimberly Munoz and I'm an instructional technologist with Franklin ISD. Are you wondering a fun way that you can get to know your students better using technology? Well, I'm going to solve this problem in three minutes. I want you to take a look at a website called wordle.net. It creates some really great word clouds that you can use just from text. It's very simple. Here's an example of what one might look like. This is for an English notebook cover. And you can create different colors and you can keep uh, creating different schemes that, um, that the letters will fall into and I'll show you that. So if you'll just go to the create button, you'll see a place where you can paste in a bunch of text or you can type it in. So if you have a prior assignment that your students have done, maybe they typed a, an essay or a paragraph to you about who they are and what they like, they could just copy and paste that into this and do a word cloud from that. However, with my students, I actually have them write out um, characteristics about themselves. So let's just say that I write a couple of these and just going to write a few. And so there's just some things that I'm thinking off the top of my head about myself that I might want my teacher to know about me. Now if I were to press go, it would create a simple word cloud making all of these words equal because they're only typed once. And you saw in the other word cloud that some words were much bigger than others. So what I want to do here is I want to um, make a space and I can either copy and paste this word over and over again. But the more this word appears, the bigger it becomes in the word cloud. So if I just type a couple of these uh, a couple of times, you'll see the difference in what I'm talking about. And the other thing that I want you to know is if I want to type a phrase like uh, I love teaching, then I want to put what is called a tilde in between each one of these with no spaces. And when you put that tilde in between each one of those with no spaces just like that, then it will stay together as a phrase. Okay, um, And you find that little tilde next to the number one key on your keyboard. So now I'm going to press go and you're going to see the word cloud be created and it does use Java so it may ask or give you a few prompts such as this one to run it and there we go so it says I love teaching that stayed together the word passionate is much bigger than any other word on there heart and dancing are a little bit bigger because I wrote them more so the more you write a word the bigger that is going to be and this is where you can also uh, change the layout just by clicking on this and um, you can relay out with current settings or you can do straighter edges lots of different things that you can do we will do um, half and half and so you can see you can just constantly change it around until you find one that you like and then you can also change the color scheme so it's a lot of fun the kids really enjoy it and then once they're done they simply take a screenshot of it and then they can use it for whatever they want maybe it could be their screensaver for the year um, you can make a t-shirt out of it there's lots of different things you could do so I hope you enjoyed Wordle and I hope that you found something very useful